Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is, are they the one? So, get a person in mind, whoever you want to know if they're the one or not. Um, we'll set your intention. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right. Pile one. We're picking with woodwick candles here. Pile one. Crimson berry. Pile two. Pumpkin butter. And pile three. Fig. So whatever pile you're most drawn to. Um, that's the pile you should just definitely go with. And uh, we'll see. Are they the one? Okay, pile ones, if you chose the crimson berry candle, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's get some cards. I have to raise the camera. Give me one second. Okay, hopefully that's better. <laughs> Three swords. What is that? Queen of wands. Ten of wands. Nine of wands. Ten of cups. Okay, oh boy. All right, so either, well, your person's had their heart broken. Who hasn't, right? But this could either be by you <laughs> or uh, somebody else. I feel like right now, if you're asking about them right now, how do they feel right now? They're in this energy of being brokenhearted right now. They feel like the wounded warrior. They have a heavy load on their shoulders they have a lot of responsibility. They're kind of feeling it right now. However, I do feel like this person is the queen of wands. So what does that mean? That means they're ambitious and um, passionate. I, I kind of feel like this person would make you feel loved like you've never been loved before. Like I feel like they have that much fire inside of them. And maybe that's why they, they, they're so broken hearted right now because, uh, you know, they put their all into something and it didn't work out. And like I said, that could be you or could be somebody else. Um, but Ten of Cups is here. So I do feel like if you guys do come together or come back together, that uh, it could very well work out. Uh, Ten of Cups is an amazing energy. That's... That's what happiness looks like to, to you. So whatever that is, that's what you can have with this person. So I'm leaning towards, yes, even though they're brokenhearted, even though somebody else might have broken their heart, or you could have, it could be you. I just don't, I kind of feel like it's not going to be easy though. Because I feel like they're going through it right now. They've got to they've got to get through this first, right? They've got to get through this. They got to feel what they're feeling and then, uh, you know, let it go and get past it. And sometimes that takes time. So if they're the one for you right this second, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure if you want to deal with this right or they're ready to deal with you. You know, they might not be ready for something new if this is something new. But eventually, yes, I do feel like uh, this could be the one. But let's get some more cards and see if, uh, you know, I continue to feel that way. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Yeah, they've, they've broken up with somebody. And be careful, do not take risks. All right, so what that's saying to me is they're not ready right now. They're, they're not ready. So if you're looking for this to work out right this minute, mm, I'm going to say no, they're not the one. You know, and we do all have more than one that that's the one in our life. You know what I mean? We have more than one soulmate. We can be with any of them or we could be with none of them. So are they the one? in the future maybe right now I don't think so but let's let's keep going
retirement. <laughs> uh, I feel like they're over love right now. They're done. They're retired from it. <laughs> They're not, they're not, re they're not ready to open their heart again right now. They're done. Th they have too much going on. You have to give them some time, some space. Um, you got to give it a break. You definitely have to give them a break. Um, they're stepping away right now. They're just going to try and heal, do their own thing, probably concentrate on work or something like that. Just, I, I'm going to say, let it go for now. Maybe in the future, but for now, let it go. The miracle of prayer. Thank you, Sandalphon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Okay, so like I said, there's it's not a complete done deal, right? It's not completely not happening. It could happen with the power of prayer and some time and some healing. I feel like it's possible, but this is going to take some time. Travel. Yeah. I, I feel like they have a journey to go on. This, they have a journey. They, this is a, a independent solo journey for them that they have to go on for themselves. They have to learn to face this heartache, face um, what went wrong, what maybe what they did, maybe what other people did, how they feel. They have to heal it. They have to forgive. You know, they have to go through all the stages of grief. So they have a journey. You know, at the end of the journey is Ten of Cups. So yes, it's still a possibility. But right now, I, I just am not feeling it. You know, and everybody processes grief at their own speed. So this could be sooner rather than later. Make the best choices. So right now, I think the best choice for you is to give this person space. Um, you know, they're trying to make the best choices for them. And, you know, it's saying don't take a risk right now. It's because you don't want to risk it not working out at ever in the future. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, they have healing to do. They're, they still have some anger, some resentment, some hurt. They're going through it, so we need to let them grieve. The only way through it is, I mean, the only way to get past it is to go through it. So, let go of control issues. Okay, you cannot control this. You cannot control their feelings. You cannot control their grief and what they're going through. You can't make it better. So, Get out of that headspace. Concentrate on you. Focus on you. Don't focus on them right now. They have their own work to do. All right. This is happening to them for a reason. They have a lesson to learn, right? They have this journey that they're going on. So you need to let go of control. It's not really up to you. It's up to the divine. You know, when this person's ready, they'll be ready. Get some love advice anyway. Let's see. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. <laughs> there you go, pile one. Give it time. Time does heal the wounds, you know. It doesn't make us forget, but it does heal. But, you know, your person has some stuff to go through. Yeah, come home to yourself. So that's saying like you got to concentrate on you. Um, you got to let this person go for now. Um, let them do what they got to do. If they need you to be in their life as a friend, a supported ear, just do that. But don't try to force anything. Don't 
come on to them. Don't, don't really flirt with them too much. Maybe a little, but not a lot. Like, don't force it. Just concentrate on you and making yourself happy right now. Do things that you like to do. Date someone else if you want to date someone else, but just let this one go for now. I I do feel like it can come around, but this person has a journey first. Let them take their journey. It's a solo journey. They have to do it. And by when I say solo journey, like that doesn't mean that they're not going to go mess around with other people. They might, but they're doing it to learn. Okay. That's, that's sometimes we act out to learn. So they might be messing around with somebody else to help them heal this. They're not ready for you and what you have to offer. What you have to offer is amazing. And I feel like when you guys do come together, it will be absolutely magical but they're not ready for it yet. So let them go through the process that they have to go through. Okay. And even if that means you have to watch them date all the wrong people, you got to do it. They have that journey that they have to go on. And I know that's hard to hear. And I know that's not what you want to hear. And I'm sorry, but you know, take it from somebody who's been through the grieving process You know, I was married for 20 years and got divorced. I had to go through all these stages of grief, you know. So I I understand what this person is going through. Whether that they, they were married or not, they still have a grieving process. Now, sometimes a grieving process, like I said, is a lot longer than others. Sometimes it's short. So this might not take forever. This might take a couple months. But you still have to allow them to go through it. Because they're not ready for you. And if you try to force it right now, it wouldn't be what you want. And it wouldn't work out anyway. So why would you risk that? Just my advice. You know, you don't have to take it. You have to do what's right for you. You know, maybe there's a lesson that you have to learn by forcing something. I, I, That's up to you. But, you know, the divine gives me this gift to, to send out the messages. Right? to channel these messages for you. You're looking for answers. You know, sometimes we don't, sometimes I always say, you know, don't ask a question you don't want to hear the answer to. Because I'm going to give you the answer, whether you like it or not. And of course I want it to be positive for you. Of course I do. Of course I want to tell you what you want to hear. But I'm not that reader. I'm the reader that's going to give you the honest truth. And I'm going to throw it in your, you know, I'm going to lay it all out. All the cards are on the table. They're right here for you to see. You know, so, you know, I want this to work for you. And I think the best chance for it to work for you is for you to give them some space. For now. But again, do what's right for you. You don't have to listen to me. (laughs) Just a tarot reader. (laughs) I'm an intuitive tarot reader, but I'm just a tarot reader, you know? You got to do what's right for you, what you feel in your heart. All right, but you know what? Let's get Joe. Joe is my pendulum. J-O. She's a a she, even though she has a male name. Um, Let's see what Joe says. All right, Joe. For my pile ones, are they the one? We got a yes. We got a no. We, that's a no. That's a big no right now. All right. So it started out yes. Then I went to no. Then I went to yes. Then I went to no. Then it got a big no. So I'm going to say, like I said, like I think there's a possibility for this in the future. Just not right now. All right. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Even if you're yelling at me, I will take the comment. (laughs) They help me. Um, But, yeah, I, I know. I know, and I'm sorry. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Twos. If you chose my pumpkin butter, we're going to see if your person's the one. Let's see. Here we go. The Empress. The Knight of Wands, 
Three of Swords, the World, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Um, your person is very loving, very loving, very nurturing, very protective. Um, yeah, and they're passionate too. So, you know, they're highly attracted to you. They, they, they want to be intimate with you. They want to love you. So I, I feel like this is a really good union, but your person is afraid of getting their heart broken. I think that they love with all their heart. I think this one puts their all into it. So, um, yeah, I feel like they're afraid to get their heart broken, but I feel like, uh, I feel like the world's at your guys' feet if you if you figure out how to work together, right? If you guys can come together, work together, work on e with each other's differences, each other's strengths, each other's weaknesses. Like if you guys can balance each other out and really work together, compromise. I'm really hearing compromise. If you guys learn how to compromise for each other, um, then yes, I think that this is your person. But your person is worried they're going to break their heart for some reason. I don't know. But I feel like, yeah, you have, um, this is like a new chapter. So I feel like this person, um, I, I feel like it's a new chapter for this person. So like you guys can uh, make it what you want to make it. You know, we create our own reality. So if you guys can work together, yes, I'm feeling like this is a, a yes. Like, yes, they're the one. But let's see. I love the, the, the Empress energy here. That this is a person who's like a family man or like a family person. Uh, so yes, they're going to they're gonna want, they're going to want that coziness, that lovingness, you know, that togetherness. And they have passion for you too. So there's, you know, the sex drive is going to be there. Um, because, you know, they desire you on top of it. Okay. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. So, yeah, I feel like this relationship would be fun. But then it says get back to the basics. So I feel like your person has, like, core values. You know, they, they um, you know, they have morals and values and 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 they know that you know the simple things in life are what is what matters you know spending quality time together you know sh it, it all comes down to love and I feel like that's what your person wants from you they don't care about um you know the finer things in life I think the Finer things and nice are always nice, but I feel like to this person they're a bonus, not not a necessity. They they would be happy with you in a like, you know a small cabin in the woods, you know, just being happy. They're that type of person. Not to say that you're not going to have the mansion in the Lamborghini, because you might, but. I don't think that this person feels like the need that they need to have those things. I feel like they just want to love and be loved. They want to have a happy family. They want to just enjoy life in the simplest of ways. Which is absolutely beautiful. You got a good person here. This one's a good person. But, you know, at times, you know, uh, maybe it could be a little boring because maybe you don't want the basics in life. Maybe you want the fun, flashy things. Maybe you like to go out and, you know, walk the red carpet and be seen and stuff. And maybe their person doesn't. So I think that's maybe why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Like if you guys work together, if you guys compromise um, this will really work out for you because I feel like your person is willing to compromise. They are willing to give you your way sometimes as long as you give them their way sometimes. So they're like, look, we'll go out Saturday night and party, but the rest of the week we're sitting home on the couch cuddling. 
So they're giving you your, your time, your fun, but at the same time, then you're giving them what they want. First, first could be a Taurus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. That just, it just, that my description just reminded me of a Taurus. That's funny. Here we go. Motivation. Motivation. Oh, you're going to motivate them. Yeah, you're going to motivate them in more than one way, I think. You're going to motivate them to maybe uh, not be such a homebody, right? You're going to give them the motivation to, to, to do fun and exciting things. Or, you know, this could be vice versa, right? Roles could be reversed here. But there's definitely going to be motivation here for, for um, not not only to do fun things but to have fun things like uh, the motivation to make money the motivation to have a successful relationship to have a big happy family like there's motivation here you're giving them the motivation you motivate them you're like their muse I love that Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to accept, to self-acceptance. Okay. Um, I, I think that that's talking about the relationship. You guys are going to learn to love and accept each other for who they are, who you are, individuals. I feel like you guys are a little opposite. Um, I feel like you're the same in some ways, but then uh, different in others. And I think that you are learning to accept each other that way. Um, you know, learning to accept that, you know, one might be a homebody. Okay. You know, it's not so bad staying home and cuddling on the couch. It's it's kind of romantic and it's loving and I get the attention, the, you know, the individual attention that I see, that I need. So it's okay. But, you know, and he, and they're willing to, you know, take me out and do what I like to do sometimes too so you know there's just an acceptance there do you know what I'm saying there's like an acceptance uh love and acceptance this is a beautiful relationship if you guys are in it congratulations and if you guys are gonna find your way to each other um yeah this is this is absolutely amazing I like this Oh, they're going to be very protective of you. Absolutely. There you go. There's that Empress energy again. Very protective of you and their family. Again, I don't hate that. I, I actually admire that. All right, here we go leadership set your goals I feel like your person is leadership I think your person is a leader I think they're strong I think they have confidence I think they know what they want I think they're brave I think that's just who they are Bring love into the situation. That's what you guys are going to do. If you guys disagree, you guys are going to, you know, just remember the fact that you love each other and that you'll find that compromise. You guys will work it out. Doesn't mean that you're not going to have fights. Of course you are. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be disagreements. Um, two people can't agree on everything all the time. But you guys are going to love each other through it. I, I just love this. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations about the things you disagree with or the things that you want, things that you need. I, I feel like you guys are going to be like best friends. You're like you're not going to be afraid to tell them what you want and what you need, and they're not going to be afraid to give it to you. You know, they're not going to be afraid to compromise. As long as you're willing to work together, like if it can't be one-sided, you know, that's the, I think that's the key here where it can't be all your way all the time. So just remember that as well.
balance. Here we go. That's exactly what I was saying. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So yeah, there you go. There's your heart-to-heart conversations because you're going to bring balance into the situation. Look, you know, this is how I feel. This is how you feel. What can we do to meet in the middle? You know, I'm not going to agree with you because you want me to agree with you. But I'm also not going to be stubborn where I'm not going to, you know, give in a little too. So there you go. If you guys, as long as you guys learn how to do that, bring balance. Um, you guys are going to like excel. This is going to be beautiful. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Um, I feel like that's what you're going to get annoyed with sometimes. Or, or vice versa. Because it's uh, one of you are, is very much... Um, like you care about what your family thinks. I feel like you're very family oriented here. And I feel like, or somebody is, like either you or your person is. And the other one's going to get annoyed by that. Like it doesn't matter what your dad thinks. Like it just matters what we want. You know, if if this is the house that we like, who cares if your dad likes it? We're the ones who are going to live in it. You know, something like that. Like, I think that might be a point of contention between the two of you at some point. Like somebody's family, somebody cares too much about what their family thinks. And that's going to be like, you know, it, it's okay to get their opinion, but it's not okay to do what they want. It's a, we, you need to do what we want, you know? So there you go. All right, let's get Joe. Joe is my pendulum. J-O is her name, J-O. She's a, she's a she. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Pile twos. Are they the one? Yep. No hesitancy. She is giving me a yes. Joe, can you go bigger? Can you go bigger? There you go. That's a definite yes. There's no doubt about it. That's my yes. So this person is the one for you. That's beautiful. All right. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. But more importantly, leave me a comment. The comments are what push these uh, videos out. And uh, they're actually working and they're helping. And I appreciate them. So leave me a comment, even if it's just an emoji. It helps a lot. Thanks a lot. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose Fig... Then this one's your reading. Here we go. Ace of Pentacles. The Fool. Five of Wands. The Hermit. And Three of Pentacles. Oh, wow. All right. Um, could this be somebody that you work with? Maybe with these Pentacles here. Teamwork. Um, could be somebody that you work with. I feel like you're conflicted on this person. I feel like you're not sure whether whether this is your person or not. And that's probably why you're watching this video. Um, yeah, you have some inner turmoil about this. You're like, um, I don't know. I'm searching for answers. Could they be the one? Do I take that leap of faith with them? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know from these cards. I can't really tell. Um, I'm picking up on the pentacles. So if you're not, if this is not somebody that you work with, it might be somebody who wants to work with you or who's more, or who's more into the financial abundance than love abundance. It could be somebody who's after money. So be careful with this one. It doesn't have to be, but... I don't know. I'm not getting a great feeling. I'm not getting a terrible feeling, but I'm not getting a great feeling from this yet. So I'm just going to say be careful about this one. Unless it's somebody you work with. If it's somebody that you work with, then you're looking you're looking for answers right now. And hopefully the reading will give it to you. Um, but if it's not somebody that you work with, I would, I would uh, pay attention. I would look for red flags because I think this person's interested in money. 
maybe not love. I think money's more of a motivator for them. So, you know, just, I don't know. It could be okay. It, it doesn't have to be bad. It, it could be, it still could be okay, even if they are interested in money. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just get some more cards because uh, I definitely need more clarity here. Oh, hang on. Okay. Family matters and romance celebration. Okay. Okay, starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, your person's a family person. Uh, your person might have kids. That might, you know, that seahorse. My seahorse always represents parental energy for me. So they might have kids, um, you know, and they might be concerned, you know, if, if uh, you know, if their kids would be taken care of in this situation or, you know, if you would care about their kids or again, roles can be reversed. Maybe you're worried about your kids. You know, would this person be okay with your kids? Um, but I do feel like um, there's an attraction here for sure. There's definitely an attraction. It says romance celebration party. It doesn't say love and romance. It says romance and celebration party. So I, again, I'm feeling a little weary about this person. A little bit, not, I don't know. I'm just not like in love with this person yet <laughs> for you. Um, there's romance. So there's definitely an attraction. There might be some feelings here. Um, it might be something that you can celebrate, but I'm not, I'm still not a hundred percent yet. I'm not feeling it a hundred percent. So let's keep going, see what comes out. I know this isn't helping you come, you come here for advice and, and I'm not really giving you any advice yet. Self-care. Again, they want you to protect yourself. Self-care. You know, do what's right for you. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Again, that doesn't make me feel the greatest. Leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Okay. So they're saying that it's okay to take the leap. They're saying you'll be protected. I think. No, they're telling me that I'm right, that it's okay to take the leap. They're saying it's okay. They're saying that they'll protect you. Um, they're saying, yeah, look, they gave you the leap, the, the full card twice. Like, so, you know, the full card is always go ahead, start the journey. It doesn't matter where, where it ends, right? It, it matters about the steps you take along the way. You know, you got to enjoy the journey and you got to be in the moment. So they're telling you to start this journey. Okay, because there is going to be love here. There is going to be love here. So it's okay to start this journey. You will be protected. That makes me feel better. That love card makes me feel a whole lot better. Invite serendipity. So invite in the magic. You know. Um, if you believe in this relationship, it'll work out. So invite in the magic, stay positive. Um, we create our reality. So get out of, get out of the fear. Okay. Get out of our heads. That's uh, they're saying it's okay to take the leap that there is romance here. There is love. So go ahead, take the leap, invite that magic in, believe in it. Communication is key. Okay, so make sure that you are communicating your wants, your needs, your fears to your person. Make sure you're not hiding things from them. Make sure you're open and honest. That'll be the key to this being successful. Healing. 
healing family issues. Again, here's family with the seahorse and now family. They might have some inner child issues. Yeah, they have some things that they may not, maybe they're childlike because they, here I'm saying they're childlike. Why am I saying that? Um, I don't know. I think that they had some family issues, maybe some parental issues. I don't know if it's it's them having problems with their parents or they're worried about their kids. I think it could be both. They're telling me it could be both. At least for some. I don't know what that means though, you know? Like the how what the what does that mean? Like Is that going to affect the relationship? Let's get some love advice. Oh. Oh, oh, hang on. I just dumped them all. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So you guys might have had some conflict here between the two of you. And you're thinking, all right, well, do I pursue this or do I turn around and go the opposite direction? And they're saying that there's love here, that you should take the leap. But make sure you also love yourself enough to do, you know, what you feel is right for you. Right? And maybe you need to really have a conversation and talk about some things. I Look, I know I'm not giving you a clear answer here. I know that's probably what you wanted, a, a definite yes or no. And what I'm going to say is that there's love here. And, it, you know, as long as you guys work together and do some healing and uh, compromise, especially when it comes to kids, um, I think it'll work out. Let's, let's get the last card. Oh, I don't know what my problem is. I'm dropping them all today. Oh, here we go. You've earned all your stripes. See, that doesn't help. Okay, yeah, you've earned your scars. I get that. We get that, right? Um, this is a big maybe for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not clear. This is a maybe. This is, is I, I think it can be worked out if you, if you want it to, if you guys are willing to compromise and you're willing to communicate. I do feel like there's love here. But I can't say for sure if it'll last forever. I'm not a positive on that one. So let's ask Joe. Joe is my pendulum. J O. She's a she's a girl. But um, let's see what what she wants to tell us. All right, Joe. For pile three, is this person the one for them? gonna have to go bigger joe oh wait uh, that was me i moved it hang on I'm, I'm leaning on i have two decks piled up and my elbow was leaning on them and uh there we go here we go now i'm on the table joe is pile three their person it's pile three the one that's my yes but i want her to be stronger joe i need i need a stronger answer is pile three the one for is the is this person the one for pile three? <sighs> She's giving me a very little yes. You know, I wanted to see this, right? This is what I wanted to see. It's not what we got. We got this. So, yeah, they're the one. 
They're the one, but is it for now? For now? Is it forever? I don't know. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sorry it wasn't a better answer for you. Sorry it wasn't more clear, but I got to give you what, what came out, right? So it's a it's a big maybe here for me. Like me personally, I'm a maybe, but they're saying yes. They're saying yes. So do what's right for you, Pile 3. That's all I can say. Follow your heart. Try and make it work. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the uh, every step of the way. There's probably a lesson here for you. You know. It's probably important for your, you know, your your whole journey. Your spiritual journey, you know. So, ah, take the leap, I guess. All right. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, leave me a comment. <laughs> Uh, I can only imagine what these comments are going to be. But leave me a comment. They help me. They push out the videos. And I do appreciate them. Until next time. Love and light.